Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drusa Lachey. If you don't know already, just about maybe like a month-ish ago, I made a video on my closet transformation. I showed it to you guys empty, newly redone. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description box. But I give you all the deets and I show you the before and the after photos and footage. So you guys make sure that if you haven't watched it, pause right here, go and watch that video and then come back. But in today's video, I want to show you guys how my closet looks with clothes in it. Okay. How I utilize the space. So with that being said, Let's go in and see what we're working with. Okay, so when you first come into my closet, you are first greeted by my display shelves. Something that was really important to me was to have a display shelf when you first come in. This was like a struggle for me because I'm like, I have to choose between making this more functional and making it like an aesthetically pleasing kind of space. So I kind of try to merge both of them and make it not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functional. And so there is quite a bit on this shelf. Of course, I could maximize the space even more if it was not like a display shelf, but it can always be switched around in the future if I do need more space. So we're gonna start off with my hats that are up here. If you guys have not seen my my accessory closet video in the past I did like a similar setup and so I have my you know more statement hats up here in their containers and then when you come to this middle shelf here you have my fragrances these mannequin necks with the jewelry on there with a little flower vase back there and then some of my clutch bags and then you have a pair of shoot you <laughs> me i have a pair of shoes right here and it was really important for me to pick pieces that stood out a lot and i was going for like a vintagey kind of boutique wardrobe i really wanted to pick things that brought like a vintage vibe again i wanted to make this functional so that is why i was trying to really use this space to put a lot of my things on here and then when we come down to this last shelf this is where i have some more of my bags and my husband got these like bag holder display thingy-majigs which I believe he got it from Amazon so I'll go ahead and link everything down below for you guys this box right here is like a plastic acrylic <laughs> see-through box and at first we were supposed to use this for something else I can't even remember but it didn't work out and so I'm like what am I gonna use this box for I think it came in a set of three but I was just like let me just see how it looks when I put this mannequin neck in and it really worked out because it started really looking like a store and so I was like mm, I'm here for it. these are actually my sunglasses I have to find like a more aesthetic case for them but for now this way they live in as you guys can see back here even I've put another clutch bag and back there I've put another clutch bag so I'm really trying to use this space and not waste it but also make it look like a store and as you can see another pair of shoes are here and I have one of my favorite bags in the world, this sparkly bag right here. We were able to use the space really well, but I also feel like I have more space to add on little things if I wanted to. So I just feel like I'm not 100% limited, which is great. This is what you see when you first come in. Toward this side, we have all of my tops and sweaters. I try my best to keep it as organized as I possibly can. I don't know if y'all can tell because it is like a little bunched up, but I try to also kind of like color coordinate my stuff as much as I can. It just makes things easier for me to find and figure out when I'm trying to look for an outfit. I do have like a weird system. Y'all will understand it, but I understand it. As long as you have a system, like I just feel like that's all that matters if you get it and it makes things easier for you. But yeah, it's just like a little organized mess as people like to call it. This pole up here that holds these clothes is really tall. I'm six feet tall. I like it like that because I'm tall and so I feel like 
I get to maximize this space. I made a video on how to, you know, really maximize and use your small spaces if you have a lot of clothes. So I'll also link that down below for you. But one of the points that I bring up is a lot of people don't take advantage of the vertical space. Like people are always buying, you know, furniture that's like shorter and longer horizontally, but vertically there's a lot of space that can be used for storage. So taking advantage of it, okay? Down here we have my pants and my skirts. I had to drop it low a little bit, okay, to show you guys what's going on down here. But essentially, here are all my pants and my skirts. I have, you know, skirt hangers that organize my skirts really nicely. And I love the fact that they're hanging now. They used to be in totes. But I just love the fact that I can see them because sometimes I forget that I have certain clothes because I don't see them all the time. And so the fact that they're laid out, it makes me remember like, oh, okay, I have this as an option, which is great. I also have these pant hangers, which I linked in my how to, you know, fit a lot of clothes in a small space video, but I'll link it in this one too. Just having hangers like those are great space savers. And because this pole is not too low, I'm able to fit all the pants on these hangers without them actually even touching the floor, which is great because that was a problem before in my old closet was that my pants were dragging on the floor, especially as a tall person with long pants. And so if I'm stacking them, of course, something is gonna end up hitting the floor, but not in this case. And then down here, because I do have some extra space, I'm able to use this as extra shoe space because I do have overflow shoes. Where else am I gonna put them if they don't fit in my shoe shelf? Speaking of shoe shelf, I have all my shoes here. And again, I try to organize it so that there is more of like a system going on. I have my flats that are further up and I have my heels. Then it goes on to like my sandal heels and my more special occasion heels and then my sneakers, boots. And then down here we have my tall boots. Okay, so I know that I said that I have my tall boots down here, but I also have some of my shorter booties. I love this thing. I got it from Amazon. There are these shoe inserts that you put in your shoe to make them stand up straight and it helps keep the structure of the shoe, which is really helpful because sometimes the shoes will like bend or sometimes depending on like how you organize your shoes like if you stack one shoe on top of the other whatever they'll lose their shape and sometimes they permanently stay out of shape and so you kind of need something in them to keep their proper shape i feel like it's all part of taking care of your stuff if you possibly can so i love these things because again it's also giving that retail store kind of vibe i can link that down below as well i love these because they're customizable they're bendable you can cut them to size they have you know smaller ones Ones, medium ones tall ones and so I got like this variety pack that I was able to use also with my tall shoes down here because as you can see they are able to stand up and normally they're not able to do that on their own and so I really love that I feel like it makes it look way more organized and again it helps to keep the shape of the shoe okay I got tippy toe for this one <laughs> I want y'all to see my face here are the hooks that were on the wall if you guys saw my closet video before at first I had to kind of play around with it because I had my robes up here originally but then I decided hmm I just feel in my spirit that it'll be better to put bags here and so I decided to put some of my longer bags here with this hook I put some of my shorter bags and so I just love it because again it's giving store vibes I like seeing my stuff displayed because it makes it easier when it comes to getting dressed when you see your options you can easily be like okay this will go with this this will go with that but sometimes it's annoying because it's just like you forget you have things and then later on you find them and you're like hey i couldn't go with that other outfit i wore like why in case y'all are worried about the weight these hooks have been holding up well if i'm not mistaken they are screwed into studs and so they really shouldn't be going anywhere at any point of time something goes down i'll let y'all know in the comments i decided to put some you know of my lighter jackets here because i'm like dang is it gonna be able to hold it so far it's been holding up well one of the things that were a concern to me was a concern to me was that something would be here that would block my shoes and i kind of didn't like that but i kind of got over it once my coats were here as long as i'm standing here i can still see all my shoes so it's not 
that big of a deal. But yeah, I have some coats here and I also have some coats down on this rack. Right her, right her, okay? And last but not least, ooh chow! This is a weird angle. I just wanted to show you guys on this side what I'm working with. This Chaney that I have was like my makeup organizer and I don't really explore that much with makeup like I used to and I just had honestly a whole bunch of old makeup in here that I had to get rid of. Some makeup still is in here toward the top compartment but at the bottom I have like a drawer of press on nails right here. I have all my nail polishes in this drawer so I just like the way that that um, ended up working out. All right, so now we're at the other side of the closet. This is actually behind the door. Um, I wanted hooks behind my door because I felt like, again, this adds to maximizing the space. And I felt like it was actually a more appropriate spot for my robes. As I mentioned in my other video with my whole closet reno, these are hardwood shelves because I wanted to put my African fabrics on here and they are on the heavier side. So I'm able to get a lot of storage out of these shelves because they run deep past even what y'all see around Right here there's like other piles neat piles folded piles but there are piles behind what y'all see here so I try to also color coordinate as much as I can just so if I you know want to access something I know okay because it's blue or green I know it's gonna be on this shelf it just helps me to have my little system going on here are the fabrics that I just wear more regularly that's why they're kind of just like here and not as coordinated as the rest of them but again as long as I understand the system that's all that matters so underneath my African fabrics we have a dresser here and inside the dresser are all of you know my accessories you know belts and scarves and extra hats if y'all want to see how I typically organize my accessories y'all can check out my first time organizing my accessory closet and again I'll link that in the description box but I'm not gonna take out through all that just know that this is how I decided to use this space next to my African African fabrics you're gonna see this little opening here this opening includes all of my dresses and my blazers and my jumpsuits I made sure to put things I don't really need to access that much back here so that it's not annoying always going back there I have my dress trees these are the hangers that I use and the great thing about this is that they're are no additional shelves down here so my stuff can just hang my gowns can hang my jumpsuits can hang but at the same time a lot of them are still not even hitting the floor so i'm still able to use the bottom part for extra storage that is the bottom part of the closet i just have like a box down there so i can honestly use it for extra shoes if i want i can use it for other things i haven't fully decided how i want to use it but I just know that it's an option in terms of more storage. So we've made it full circle. Okay, we're back at the display closet. Over here is another dresser where I have like my house clothes, my, you know, my workout clothes. So I love that they are right, you know, when you walk in because those are the things I actually need to access the most, the most frequently. And so I didn't want it in the dresser behind the door because I knew that I would be coming to this dresser her the most frequently so I had to set up that way on purpose all right y'all so that is it for my closet tour before I forget I wanted to add that this cool feature that my hubby and brother added is like automatic lights when you first come in okay so the lights automatically come on in case you didn't notice that in the beginning of the video and there are actually LED lights above the cabinets not only am I getting light from my chandelier here which is linked in my former closet reno video but as you guys can see there is lighting above all the cabinets which is bringing like a nice ambiance okay it's bringing the ambiance that cannot be matched i've honestly been enjoying this closet so much i'm just grateful that you know it's a level up from what i had before so shout outs to you god also shout outs to hubby shout outs to my brother for helping with the closet and also shout outs to you guys for watching if y'all enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up please make sure that if you are interested in some of the things that i mentioned in this video you check the description box but if i did not link something it will likely be in my closet transformation video so you want to make 
sure you go ahead and check that out. And if it's not in any of those, just go ahead and hit me up in the comments. I got you. And speaking of the comments, let me know how y'all feel about how I use this face down below. Please go ahead and press that red subscribe button if you have not already. And please go ahead and turn on that bell notification button so that anytime I post, you'll be up to date. God bless you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces. <laughs>